when did this phone release some months ago so it's not extremely old but it's not like super new like brand new so i'm pretty sure you've seen a whole lot of reviews on this phone but it's not a review until you've heard it from me you know <laughs> Welcome back to Life with Aisha and today I'm doing an unboxing of my latest purchase which is my new phone that I got for Black Friday and it's the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So let me just show it to you all. I did get the gold phone and hopefully it's picking up on camera because it's not like a bold metallic gold it's more of on the softer side of gold. So this is how the phone looks. It just has the little Apple symbol here and it has the camera situation here, which is the biggest newest thing to Apple. And I will get into that a little later in this video. So um, first I want to show you all the box that it came in. It did arrive in this black box here and it's just a black box that has the picture of the phone on the front of it. It has the iPhone on the side of it on both sides. It's the Apple symbol right here on the top of the box and the bottom of the box and on the back of the box it just has the different specs um, of the phone so I did get the 512 gigabyte phone I got the one with the biggest size of it because I have a lot of things that I have on my phone so before I get into this and just take everything out the box I do want to show you the last phone that I had so I did have the iPhone 7 so this is a big upgrade for me side by side difference of the phone that I did upgrade from so I had the iPhone 7 plus um and this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max so basically it's a lot of differences in between these phones first off um the iPhone 8 and the iPhone X came out in between these models so I am upgrading two models post to the phone that I currently had and I really did love this phone this was the 7 plus and this was the rose gold one this one didn't come in rose gold yet so I did get the gold one but I wasn't I didn't really care about the colors that much so um yeah just off of just looking at the phone this has more of a metallic finish to it and the feel of it this is more like has like kind of like a frosty feel to it so the phones are a lot different this one um it's a bit heavier um i actually thought it was gonna be lighter but it's a bit heavier also the phones are basically the exact same size i know that a lot of people are thinking that they are totally you know different sizes but it's because you can see i'm recording myself <laughs> But as you can see, the screen, let me just like this phone real quick. The screen of this, see, this is why I had this phone turned off because, okay, go off. Yes, okay, so the screens are totally different. This is a full screen phone, as you can see, all the, everything from the top to the bottom. And I will cut this on in a moment to show you all. With this phone, it has a border here and the bottom and on either side of it so they are pretty different so I was just struggling a little bit when I first started using this phone and honestly I am still using this one a, a whole lot because I have to get used to this phone so what I'm going to do is power while I'm having powering while I power it on and you power it on by touching either side um you touch the volume button and the um, lock button so you press those together And the phone comes on and a little apple symbol pops up so while this coming on I will be opening up the box just to show you how what came inside the box so you pull the box top off um, well first this box is black and the last box that I got was a white box so that's new to Apple you open the box up you just have the, the signature box items that's in the box so you have this that's on top and it just says designed by Apple in California and I'll take out the items in here next. Um, like I said, I've been using this phone, so I had to just put everything back in the box. But um, <laughs> for the purposes of this video, so on the top, you have the headphones that come in the box. And I have not used these yet because I do want to get some AirPods. Headphones on top, you do have the um, box that comes with it. This is a box to charge it. And you have the lightning cord. What I did notice about the cord um, that... I, like I said before, I've been using it. So let me just take this off of. What I did notice about it is that 
it has the exact same end the lighting port but on this end it does have a different adapter so when you get ready to plug it into the phone it's not your signature regular charger that you can just use this right here for any box this is only for apple i believe um i'm not sure about any other any other phone brands but i thought that was interesting i'm like you have they have found another way to get money out of us because this charger charges your phone so fast i think it's like an 18 um watt i'm not sure it's not saying on here but i think it's like a it's, it has a speed of 18 watts or something like that i could be wrong if i'm wrong let me know and all i know is it charges your phone to full in like 30 minutes so extremely a great thing and something that's new to me now the items that come in here are the signature items um i've been getting iphones since i think about 2012 i remember i was a was i a sophomore in college or freshman in college i think i was a sophomore in college so i think 2012 but um it just has these papers in it it says hello on the front of it on the inside of it, it does have different instructions these are tips that would be good for anyone that is new to the iphone 11 um me because i had no idea how to work this phone when i first got it um right here it has a little key that comes with the phone and this is if um i have at&t so we have sim cards in our phone so this is how you can take your sim out the phone it's on the side of the phone and right here on this side of the phone in lock mode you will see that it has this screen on it it's kind of like a lava looking screen so these are the differences in the screen as you can see this is a full screen like i was saying and this one is only in the middle of the screen so i thought that was really neat and new like i said before it's been a bit hard trying to go between phones so when you unlock the phone but before you unlock the phone you have the flashlight here and the camera here at the bottom when you swipe from the right side of the phone that is where your control center is versus when on this phone when i swipe up <laughs> i tell you when you're trying to demonstrate something that's when everything goes wrong but when i swipe up on this phone that's where the control center is so just a, a couple differences let me turn my brightness up on both of them so you can see just how much different it is so i can swipe down on this one to get it away and i swipe up i don't yeah i swipe up on that one to get that one to go away of course i will use my fingerprint to unlock this one and on this one i will be using my face id but for the purposes of this video i'm just going to use my passcode to unlock it so um, it took me like a day to do this, but I tried to get my screens to look the exact so same. So the camera does have three different, it's three different lenses here, as you can see. And basically that means that you can take pictures three different ways, um, from three different angles and how close it is to you versus how far it is from you. I don't notice everything about this because I'm not that technical, um, with things i do know that it's very similar to a digital camera so the camera that i'm filming on now i will probably get the same or maybe even better quality on my actual phone which is definitely a great thing because i was making it where they're going to be putting even company camera companies out of business because you don't really need a camera to film or for youtube anymore you can just use your phone you can do everything on your phone all the apps can come on your phone so it's extremely innovative this camera and i expect more companies to pattern themselves after them honestly i do really like the phone i just want to give you my thoughts on it it's a really nice phone i am getting used to it but i have been enjoying it um it's super fast um to just let you know the only reason why i did decide to upgrade was not because i really just needed a phone so bad um it was really just because I ran out of space on this one and this one was the 256 gb i'm really ashamed to say that i have filled this up to capacity but i did and now i'm on to this one um i have like close to 40,000 pictures on my phone um about 3,000 videos so yeah i use my phone quite a bit to put all of my information on it's hard for me to delete stuff just like with this phone i will hold on to it um, I was thinking about selling it, but I'm going to hold on to it for a while because I just had so 
many memories with this phone so yeah and i think i've talked enough about this phone honestly um i'm just happy that i got a new phone and wanted to share it with my subbies so um as always remember to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching Thank you.